All right, what's going on, everybody? It is freaking cold. So I don't want to talk too long. I want to get my forge going. But anyways, um, I wanted to make some uh, Makume Gane tonight. And I've got a stack of quarters in this cage. That's really the best way I can come up with for what I have to keep them together. I don't have a TIG welder or a, the proper wire to wrap them up, but uh, we'll see what happens. I've never done this. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I just figured, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So let's uh, fire up the forge and get them in there and we'll see what happens. Thank you. 
All right, well, there's the billet. Probably can't see it very well from there, but I did insert a video etching it. Um, but yeah, this stuff was a lot of fun to make. I mean, it's way different. Definitely something different. And it's just beautiful. Definitely gonna make more, you know, get, uh, now that I have an idea what I'm doing, I'll definitely make more for some uh, knife guards and stuff. I think, uh, you know, this stuff will look beautiful on a knife. But yeah, that was fun. And I didn't have anything, you know, in mind when I was making this. I was just making it to make it, to be able to say I made it, you know, and, get, and gain the knowledge and experience. That's all. But like I said, I'll definitely be doing more. And I, uh, um, you know, I did two stacks and I, and I didn't, you know, the, the, the first stack I did, I was, you know, kind of planning on that one to fail because I didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea what to expect. I didn't expect to uh, win on that one. And I, I took it out of the forge way too, it was way too cold. You know, I, it wasn't, it wasn't at the right temperature. So after that, I was just like, okay, I'm going to let this one soak and really keep an eye on it. And, you know, and I really didn't know, you know, obviously copper and nickel is going to melt, you know, at a lot cooler temperature than steel. So it was just kind of watching it to see like as soon as it started to melt or, you know, that's really the only way I could have could have figured it out. You know, I, I did do some reading and stuff and but, you know, not that that doesn't really help. I mean, you really got to do it. And I, I noticed <clears throat> I noticed the bottom of the stack. I noticed it just starting to melt like there was a little I noticed a little drop come off one of the quarters at the bottom. And that's when I pulled it out of the forge because I figured then we're, we're good and it worked. So I kind of have an idea now of what the color needs to be. I mean, so, you know, that's, that's why you got to do stuff, you know, so you can learn and figure it out. And then also, you know, I don't have a TIG welder or, or the proper wire because I probably would, I would, I would have liked to have wrapped it with wire over those cages I made. Um, Cause that's just, you know, that's all I had to keep this, you know, keep the stack contained and tight was, uh, you know, building a little cage for it. I think, you know, TIG welding is the way to go or wrapping it with wire is, is better. But I mean, it worked. That, the cage actually worked pretty well. It's just that the stack wasn't completely, you know, wasn't completely centered from top to bottom. Like some of the quarters were a little off just from moving it around. I mean, that's kind of inevitable. And and I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it kind of, it did shift on me a little bit. And I, and I got it corrected, you know, as best as I could. And, you know, this stuff, this stuff doesn't move like still. I mean, it does, but it moves uh, a lot faster. I mean, you, you know, stack of quarters consolidates quickly. So that's another thing you got to take into account. But other than that, you know, it was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's the process I used. Uh, I really don't like to kind of explain as I'm going in the, in, in the videos. I just kind of want, you know, the audience to just see and watch. And hopefully at the end of the video, I answered any questions you, you might have had. But other than that, yeah, that was fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and y'all have a good day.